Okay. Uh, so untuk lab apa ni? Uh, for this lab, first what we need to do is we need to launch the lab soft new software. Okay. And we will do. Uh, ni lah. Kita akan buat satu eksperimen dulu. Uh, so this is the second one. Okay, uh, so we need to turn on the <coughs> PC and make sure all the power is connected. Okay. Okay, we will uh, do the ignition system. Okay, dekat sini kita akan pakai uh, ni lah coil ignition uh, system ok so apa kita nak buat sekarang ni sebenarnya so kita nak tengok uh, so we will do this part eh. so kita akan buat this part uh, and this is the question Okay. So first yang you kena buat is uh, set the probe to time stand and uh, hook one of the cable to the ground and another one into the secondary coil. So kita nak measure uh, apa ni? Kita nak measure voltage dekat uh, secondary coil. Okay. Next, if you follow the instruction, so we need to do uh, oscilloscope punya reading ok set to 10 second and then this is on I oh. ok uh, voltage for division is 1 and you need to uh, put the sensor two box down. So first, kita unhook ni, and then kita turunkan all position two box down. So now the zero punya point is right here. Okay, and then we hook. So this is uh, the graph. So next, what we need to do is we need to put the trigger punya system and set it to the center kalau ikutkan dia suruh dekat 50% so kita ubur dekat 50% which is the center saya dah ajar itu so this is the center point and we want to trigger it around this area so kita naikkan trigger tu ok so this is uh, the Ni lah, maximum punya setting okay, Kita buat Okay, middle punya setting So, since uh, Walaupun dia suruh dekat 10 second Tapi nampak macam tak cukup kan So, kita buat dalam 20 second Okay Now, we can see this is the graph that we want to know Okay Okay let me explain uh, what you need to find from this graph. Okay. So this is uh, this question, the first question. What is the value of the initial voltage dip? Okay. So initial voltage dip ni ialah dip. Dip maksudnya celup dalam bahasa Melayu ataupun turun eh. So maksudnya from here to here. So it's around one box. So the setting here is 1 volt. So 1 box equal to 1 volt. Okay. So if you answer the question here, what is the value of the initial V? And if you put 1 volt, definitely you will get a wrong answer. Because, uh, see, we have set this uh, probe to time stamp. So we need to... Uh, 
time stamp the answer that we got. So this is 10 volts. So if you check the answer, you should get a correct answer, okay? Next. What is the value of uh, subsequent voltage rise? So voltage rise from here up until here. So you can <coughs> do measurement and calculate yourself. Okay. What is the duration of maximum burning voltage? So dari pada graph ni, mana burning voltage? So basically, uh, here is the dual angle. Okay. So times uh, untuk dia charging and then voltage rise. So voltage naik up uh, to a certain voltage. So the spark plug, the tip of the spark plug uh, will send the electron flying. So to initiate that uh, electron flying, you need to reach this tip. After the electron has uh, made a jump, so you get the sparking, so the voltage is here, okay? So the timing of the burning of the spark plug is from here to here, okay? So if somebody answer uh, what is the voltage needed for electron to spark from spark plug, this is the answer. And if somebody asks uh, what is the working voltage of the spark plug it is this voltage here and the time uh, the spark plug burning is from here to here so the setting now is around 20 milliseconds so it, you might get the answer about 10 or below okay but uh, since uh, the answer here doesn't have uh, the same value yang macam kita nak 10 so we go for the last answer lah ok ok so the last question it asks what does the ignition voltage uh, do so ignition kat atas ni dia berubah ke tak so bila speed makin laju apa jadi ok so uh, if we hypothesize uh, voltage needed untuk electron to jump must be the same okay so kalau kita ubah speed so saya ubah speed okay okay the voltage uh, remain the same okay Okay. <coughs> apa jadi what happen kalau uh, speed ni terlampau laju and then uh, the coil tak sempat energize untuk create voltage tu ok so lama-lama if uh, terlampau laju dia tak sempat charging then this uh, voltage will drop down ok dia akan turun Okay. So the dual angle change uh, with respect to uh, ni lah uh, speed. So ini dual angle. So let's see if we can the second. Okay, this is the dual angle. Okay, if uh, the speed is lower, so the the uh, the coil has more time to charge the ni lah. Uh, dia punya magnetic field tadi tu ok and then as a it get faster so the time become lesser so dalam condition yang ni uh, dia masih lagi sempat untuk uh, create this uh, voltage lah ok kalau makin pendek so dia akan jadi uh, dia tak akan sempat energy so you tak akan dapat dia punya kick dekat sini Okay, so this is the graph uh, untuk first experiment. Oh, the second one. Uh, okay. So what you need to do next is 
Okay, kita nak tengok uh, Since dekat Okay, tadi kita dah belajar ni kan uh, Macam mana uh, Call to function So, ada contact point and then ada loop So, apa jadi In modern scar Okay Dalam modern punya kereta Loop tadi tu dah diganti dengan load correct part And then Signal tu the, Kita dapat daripada sensor And then sensor will trigger the electronic punya system Dan dia yang akan fokuskan kita tadi Okay, so you dah tak akan dapat contact point yang mechanical lah Okay So kita pergi tahu dekat uh, Signal generator punya Terima kasih